010 and as well as client 020 also. Why we are maintaining these systems into these two clients? Again, the answer will be data privacy or to protection to protecting the data. Okay, so if you want to see also, I will show you once again. Here you can see, please try to concentrate this picture, this image. Okay, so this is the systems. E01 is the system, and D01 is the system, and R01 is the system, and Q01 is the system, and finally P01 the system. But within the systems, you can see. 020 010 010 010 020 see these are the clients okay these are the systems okay so same client we will be maintaining the systems here and at the same time here also and again this point is very from one business to another business and one project to another project please try to understand but why we will be maintaining under same client with same systems the point is the data privacy like for example in client 010 uh, for example the d01 system he is hacked by the some hackers or due to some technical glitch the data is collapsed so at that time again we are getting our data we are retrofitting our data from 020 client d01 system see simply i will say this is the original uh, data whatever the data things we will be maintaining and this one i can called as a clone clone systems okay and again here by using this customizing tr so we can move our data from 010 client D01 system to Q01 system. But some trainers, they said like customizing TR is using by the functional consultant and workbench TR is using by the technical consultants like above consultants. That is absolutely wrong. So customizing tr which is helpful to move our data from one system to another system within the same client and when it comes to workbench tr is using to move our data from one system to another system within cross clients it means i can move from my data from d01 to 010 client to q01 into 020 client with the help of workbench TR. But when it comes to customizing TR, I can move my data from within the same client with different systems. But if you want to move your data from cross clients, especially the coding related things, especially uh, whatever the technical peoples will maintain the objects or whatever, those are all points. We are using the workbench TR, but Exactly, only the ABAPers will not use the workbench TR in real time. Being a functional consultant and even being a finance consultant, I am also using the workbench time, workbench request so many times, especially to move the variants from one system to another system or to move any development uh, changes, especially uh, the technical things from one system to another system. So at the time, obviously we are using the workbench TR. Okay, so the first point is clear, all of you. Anyone have any doubts? This is a very, very confusion topic. And even I need to explain so many points also. Definitely you will get uh, confusion because of this topic. But the fact is, this is a very, very important uh, concept while we are working with any projects. Okay, so any doubt or the first point is clear. Mani or uh, Dinesh. It's clear. Sir. Okay, thank you. So next point. 
okay so i can maintain this one as a point number 1 so then i will go to the second point second point so what i said in first point the tr types is the two types basically we have two trs one is the main tr and the second one is the sub tr okay i am not telling tr types and again trs we are classified into tr type uh, main tr and sub tr so i will show you here you can see in my tr so again i need to relog in okay if i go to sc09 and when i go to display and here you can see this is the main tr 1196 and this is the sub tr 1197 the number is same just the last number is changed by the system usually this one we are called as main tr and this one we are called as sub tr and the other alternative name of sub tr is task we are called as task also then what is the use of main tr and what is the use of sub tr we need to understand this point also so for this point we know it's very clear sap how we were how we will move our data from development system to quality system to production system please try to understand this is a very very important point which is related to real time working environment okay so this point is not at all covered in our regular training okay even you can search uh, in other uh, trainings also this point is not covered but in real time perspective this point is very very important okay so the first point is uh, we have three systems and we are moving our data from development system to quality and production system okay so basically the data in real time how we will move we are moving from development to quality and we are moving from development to production system not like from development to quality quality to production that is not correct development to quality development to production this is the correct but usually we can say development to quality quality to production that is not that is not correct in real time that is absolutely wrong we cannot move from our changes quality to production we can come back to development and again we are moving from development to production only see by moving our changes from development to quality we are using sub tr and to move our data from development to production we are using main tr please try to understand this point also you can see here we have two types of two things of tr one is main tr and the second one is sub tr so the main tr which is helpful to move our data from development to production and again in sub tr which is helpful to move our data from development to quality and here i have so many doubts let's say for example okay is it clear the first point is clear the second point or anyone yes. have any doubts yes okay then i will move on to some more addition points let's say for example yeah uh, who is this dinesh dinesh okay so the second point is very clear so out of the tiers again we have 
two things. One is the main TR. Here you can see when I click this one, each and every TR we have two parts. One is main TR and the second one is sub TR. So when you elaborate your main TRs, definitely you can see the sub TRs also like this. Clear? Okay. And what is the use of this main tier and what is the use of this sub tier? And sub tier we are called as task. The other alternative name is task, T A S K task. Okay. See, by using the main tier, we are moving our changes from development to production. And with the help of sub tier or with the help of task, we are moving our changes from development to quality system. So I will say very simple point. Now I will go to some more little bit point, some more little bit critical point. Let's say for example, I will be maintaining some configuration in development system. Okay. Yeah. So here I will be maintaining my configuration in development system and I will move my changes from development to quality. That point I will not say until now. How we will move our changes from one system to another system. So that point until now I didn't tell. So please wait some time. Let's say for example, I maintain some development here, some configuration and I will move in quality system. While they are performing testing in quality, I maintain I did some mistake. It means this testing is failed. Okay. And again, the tester is uh, drop a mail to me like the testing is failed. And again, I need to maintain the correct things in development system. Am I correct or not? Because I need to correct it in development system only. We cannot move our changes to production until the testing is passed. Again, in testing, we have different types of testing like unit testing, like uh, functional testing and integration testing, user acceptance testing, regression testing, likewise. So once the UAT, user acceptance testing is done, we are getting the approval from the testing team. Then only we are moving our changes from development to production. That point is very clear. But again here in unit testing itself, my transaction is failed. We can assume like this. And again, I will be maintaining my changes in this system. Okay. So this time, can I use different TR or can I use the same TR, whatever the TR we are, I am using for this configuration part. So here in this case, depends upon the environment, depends upon the organization, depends upon the businesses. Here we have your two chances. One is I need to take the new TR and within that new TR, I will configure my changes and again I will be moving my changes to quality system. And the second case is again I am using the same TR whatever the may whatever the TR already I configured. So same TR I am using in this one and within that I will be maintaining my data and again I will move my changes into quality system. So in this second point in this second point. If you using the same TR for your the second level of additions the system will give you the second task here. It means the second, the sub tier here. The, like this, in the main tier, we have n number of sub tiers. There is no limit for sub tiers. How, whatever the times you are doing the modifications, each and every modification will be carrying with the sub tiers. Why? Because once you released the sub tier here you can see the tick mark it means this sub tier is released it means your changes from 
one system to another system is already done it means your changes is already moved from development to quality system then my question is how i will move my changes from development to quality system simple when i double click here you need to select your sub tr please try to concentrate you need to select your sub tr and here you can see there is no tick mark am i correct or not for 154 there is a tick mark but 114 there is no tick mark and if i click this button release directly okay so if i click this button the tick mark is appeared automatically it means our changes is moving as per the system landscape whatever this development system is sending this data into the development system the first point i select this sub tier and i will click on the release directly option and now you can see the tick mark is appeared in this place here you can see so this tick mark represents this sub tier already released it means this changes already moved to quality so likewise we are moving our changes from development to quality but this is the one step but again we have the second step also for that second step based on the ticketing tools we need to follow different approach okay so that point also i will try to cover in this point so before i am going into that the more critical point is it clear the second point is clear okay. all of you clear right okay so then i will move to the third point the critical point like how we will move our data from one system to 